Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading for May 2023. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what you can expect here when it comes to love for May 2023. What can Gemini expect here when it comes to love? May 2023, Holy Spirit, give me clear messages. What can Gemini expect? Okay, so Gemini, someone feels regret. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Okay, I feel like this is a past person. Um, some of you may, like, feel that you need support, all right? Support being on your inner circle during this time. So maybe there's a difficult situation that you're going through, and Spirit is saying just lean on your inner circle here, all right, for that support. Support. Also, Spirits gave me a specific message. Someone from your past wants a second chance. All right. So, yeah. Anyways, you have children. Children are important to this partnership, marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union and passion. Try something you've never done before. So, Gemini, you could have children. Maybe your love interest has children. Something about children here is very significant. Maybe some of you want children. But regardless, I feel like there's a lot of passion here in the month of May. Some of you may be thinking about trying new things, okay? It could be really anything, new foods, new cultures, maybe traveling, um, maybe a new job, a new uh, talent that you discovered, something new here, a new course, okay? Whatever it may be, I see a lot of passion here. I see you going for the new here, for things you've never really done before, getting out of your comfort zone. I do feel that some of you, if you're dealing with someone, this could lead to marriage, okay? This could lead to a long-term commitment. Um, or something about a marriage is very significant this month. Yeah, let's go ahead and dig further. What else can Gemini expect here, May 2023, when it comes to love? What else can Gemini expect here, May 2023, when it comes to love? Yep. Well, look at that. Gemini. There's a soulmate here for sure. Ooh, Gemini. Ooh, I don't even want to show this card because YouTube could be sensitive, okay? But I'll go ahead and share this info with you. So there's a soulmate here. All right, let me just go ahead and show you. Similar friendship, romantic partner. So this could be a friend or it could start off as friends and lead to something more. Or maybe this is someone that you feel that you could be yourself. Um, it just flows really naturally. That's the type of energy I'm picking up. I feel like there's emotions here in the month of May. Strong waves of emotions, you know, ups and downs here. Some of you could be fighting certain desires or you're the person that you're interested in. Or will be meeting maybe fighting this temptation these desires now with this card i don't want to show it you know just because youtube sensitive but it is desire uh lust you know s e x u a you know chemistry so just put it that way um someone here i see them having a lot of desire i feel like both of you will have a lot of desire for each other a lot of temptation here let's see tell me more what can Gemini expect? Some of you could be worried about your finances. All right. You do have, let me show you, hamster wheel, grip, obsession, so surviving, daily hustle, anchor, chains, weight down, and must have indulgence. So again, I feel like there is a strong desire here when it comes to you and someone else in the month of May. But there's also other things that are kind of taking up your headspace here, Gemini. You could be worried about finances at this time. You may, you may be wanting to make more. You may be not comfortable when it comes to your finances right now. Um, you could also be feeling stuck in a situation. One more. Gemini. 
yeah come together reconciliation spiritual union soul contract some of you could be reconciling this month but for others of you this is you coming together with a soulmate i'm feeling past life energy uh you may want to reach out to archangel archangel michael okay protection prevented from harm divine intervention so you know spirit is saying that you are protected at this time for some of you you could be married or maybe the person that you're interested in is married they're wanting to get out of that relationship to be with somebody else very specific message for someone for others of you there is a soulmate here that could lead to something more i feel like not only are you two very good friends but there's a lot of desire here let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot what can Gemini expect here, May 2023? Queen of Swords, ooh, okay, Six of Wands, and the Three of Cups in reverse. Some of you may be tempted to reject a date. Some of you may say no. Specific message that I'm getting. Some of you may decide to cancel a date, not go on a date for whatever reason. Um, with the Six of Wands, I see you getting some type of victory, getting a lot of attention, looking very attractive this month. Some of you could receive recognition at work, all right? And I feel like when it comes to love, I don't know why I feel like you're standing like the Queen of Swords. You're, you're trying to be more logical, Gemini. I see you being more logical, trying not to really fall into that temptation. That's what I'm picking up on. Three of Cups in reverse, tell me about this for Gemini. Why is Three of Cups here? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, some of you could be rejecting someone from your past. Maybe you're not interested in reconciling, okay? Yeah, Queen, King of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, another air sign like yourself. You know, this person could have failed you multiple times or left you out in the cold multiple times and you're kind of like over it. This could be someone that was always had the tendency to maybe lie, not be truthful, not be honest. Tell me about the Six of Wands here for what Gemini can expect. Six of Swords. Yeah, I see you moving into calmer waters, possibly traveling, um, doing your own thing here. Ignoring the drama. A lot of healing energy as well. Some of you may be removing any negative toxicity people or things from your life. You could also be, I'm hearing cord cutting. I'm hearing donating clothes, donating things, removing things from your, your space. Let's see, tell me about the Queen of Swords. For what Gemini can expect. The King of Wands. Some of you could be meeting or dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius this month. This is someone who's very attractive, very charming, pretty stable. They know what they want and they go for it. Okay. Maybe there's a fire sign or someone with strong fire in their chart. Gemini that you are trying to be logical about. Tell me more about the King of Wands. The Fool card. This is a new beginning, a risk being taken. Tell me more. Devil card. Capricorn. I'm also picking up on Aries. Aquarius for some of you. This is a temptation. You will be tempted this month, Gemini, okay? Because some of you want to like just kind of take that risk to take that leap of faith when it comes to a certain individual because it's tempting. Ooh, you're going to be faced with temptation, Gemini. Let's see. Gemini, what can Gemini expect? Ten of Cups. I see a lot of happiness. Some of you may be, again, meeting a soulmate, uh, dealing with a soulmate this month, or spending a lot of time with your kids, spending time with your family, your friends, just overall feeling happy in the month of May. Tell me more about the Devil for Gemini. Tell me more. The Star card, Aquarius energy. Why are we getting major arcanas here? You are someone's wish fulfillment, Gemini. I will say that. Someone here has hope that you two can either come together reunite there's also something coming true here for you with the star card what is this about six of cups this is a soulmate guys this is a strong soulmate here yeah 
very spiritual. Maybe you or this person are very spiritual here. I also feel like someone from your past is feeling nostalgic. And they're still remaining hopeful that you two can work things out. Very specific message for some of you. For others of you, this is like a friend or a new person coming in that, you know, you're going to feel like, wow, this is too good to be true. Or why is this all happening? And they're a soulmate. Again, someone has regret, five of cups. Regret for how things played out between you two. One more. Yeah, five of, five of pentacles in reverse. Some of you might be rejecting the past or someone from the past. Making a decision to release two of swords in reverse. And standing in your power with the Empress, Libra Taurus energy. So I definitely feel, Gemini, that there's a strong fire sign. Okay, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn in your energy. That there's like a temptation here. You might be tempted to like hang out with this person, be emotional with this person, spend time with this person. What? Why are you holding back, Gemini? Why is Gemini holding back? Two of Wands, maybe you need to make a decision between two people. Or there's a decision here that needs to be made. Distance could be an issue. Or there's cultural differences here. I don't know. Take which story resonates. Look, tell me more about who is coming towards Gemini. Who is coming towards Gemini in love? Who is coming towards Gemini in love? Page of Swords here fell out here for you, Gemini. I feel like there's something new that you're starting. Some of you may be studying, okay, or reading. Something about reading a specific book or studying something, a course, um, preparing for an exam, starting something new here. I see you being very creative this month. I see you going towards something new, though, for sure. Some of you could be meeting a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some could be younger than you. Who is coming towards Gemini? King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Someone with Earth in their chart. I feel like this person's very wise. Maybe a Taurus. Tell me more about this. Who's coming towards Gemini? Some of you may have more than one option. Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone here is going to come and ask you out on a date or ask you to hang out. Someone very charming. They might give you a gift. Be prepared for that. I see a gift here. Or ask you to like go on to dinner or something about something about dinner. They might write you a letter. Wine, I'm hearing. Something about wine. It's very specific. Wine, a hat, roses. Yeah, very specific messages. One more. Who's coming towards Gemini? I mean, just Holy Spirit. Who's coming towards Gemini? The Emperor. There's an Aries here. Okay. Now, this could be all the same person. This is someone who's very hardworking, charismatic, attractive, spiritual. But for others of you, this could be three different people. I'm seeing an earth sign, a water sign, and a fire sign. Even air. So, I don't know. Only you know, Gemini, if you're dealing with multiple people here <laughs> this month. All right, if you're dating, you know, keeping your options open. Or again, this could be the same person. All right. So, tell me more about the emperor for Gemini more about the emperor the four of wands yeah some of you may go to a concert with this person at a party a, a gathering a festival a celebration this could be a twin flame for some of you i see you guys doing something celebrating you might meet them there if you're not already dealing with this person something about dancing could be significant as well yeah this could be someone very spiritual seven of wands they bring a lot of peace into your life or they will be all right but maybe something needs to come to an end with the Ten of Swords. Something may be ending for you here, Gemini. A marriage, a relationship, a situation could be ending. Let's see. Take this time, Gemini, to think about your love interest. I'm going to go ahead and see what they want to tell you. What does this person want to tell Gemini, please? Can I just Holy Spirit? What does this person want to tell Gemini? What does this person want to tell Gemini? I don't react when people mention you. I couldn't let you get close to me. 
I can't stop thinking about you. So for some of you, this could, like, again, there might be temptation for a reason. Maybe you two can't be together. Maybe someone's married. Or maybe there's an interference here or there's still someone that's still in the process of getting a divorce. Whatever it may be, this sounds a little bit forbidden to me. Okay, sounds a little forbidden. Like trying to fight it, right? But somebody here can't stop thinking about you. Again, maybe this is someone from the past that crossed the line with you and now they're regretting it. Because I was picking up like two energies in the beginning, Gemini, like a past person with major regret. Maybe they had certain traumas or, you know, reasons why they, to why they couldn't really let you get close to them. But for others of you, this is like a friend or someone that you have a connection with or you'll be dealing with where... It might be a little slight complicated situation, but I see that there's a lot of temptation and attraction here. I hide behind material things. One more. I replay our conversations over and over. And I feel like somebody still loves you here, Gemini. All right. But that's what I'm seeing. If this did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.